Greetings everybody, welcome to this new tutorial about Mine Expert. Let's launch the, the program. This uh, new tutorial is about JavaScripting of Mine Expert. The previous uh, JavaScripting tutorial was a general overview, and this time let's show the scripting window. This time I wanted to show you some operations, and in particular, show how operations carried over in mine expert produce elements that become part of this uh, tree view widget uh, new items are generated each time a operation uh, produces a widget for example let's start by the uh, very classic operation for example let's ask main window to um, uh, JavaScript open mass spectrometry file. Uh, for example, home mass db. Right, you see that the program launches um, the the loader, and we have the uh, new tick chromatogram that has been computed and displayed in this widget and now look that a new item has been added here and there is an explanation here make available a tick chromatogram plot widget under name tick chrome plot widget with an alias last tick chrome plot widget and that's useful because that means that we can store, for example, let's say we want to store var tick chrome plot widget one equals last double double click onto this item here and it will insert that item to the uh, edit box there. I use to put a semicolon at the end of a line and then validate control return and now i have that uh, variable um, uh, t chrome plot widget one and i may want for example to um, uh, integrate that uh, file to that uh, data to a, a mass spectrum so i could say go uh, upwards backwards downwards uh, the history using alt up uh, down arrows it is this let's say that i want to javascript integrate to mz control return you see that it has integrated to mz and in the mass spec window, which is this mass spectrum window here, in the mass spec window item, I have now a child that is this one. I could say JavaScript integrate to DT, that is to drift time. There we, there we are. Okay, so this item here, I could retro integrate to RT, that is retention time. And for example, on the basis of this, of this part here, seven up to something like 11.3, 7.3. Eleven dot three. Control return, and now I have that um, that plot. Finally, we have now a new tick Chrome plot widget, and you see that the items are systematically indexed. The first item is always indexed with zero, and increasing items are indexed with one, two, three, and so on. This is good um, 
you now know that you have these JavaScript integrate to MZ, RT, DT functions, but how do you inspect what these different elements are able to do? That's easy. For example, let's look at tick chrome plot widget zero. Press control and double click it. What you see is that the upper part of this tab contains lots of text in gray that is like comment. It is the list of the functions that are available for this widget, for this item here. For example, of course, there are lots of items that are of no use because they belong to the Qt libraries. And this is something you should uh, use with, uh, with care. But for example, we could use the height function and you'll see that it will, it will be hidden. Let's use the height function. And you see that it's hidden. If you say now, now show, it's shown again. Then we could, for example, ask that statistics be computed because we know that when a file is loaded, the statistics of all the mass spectra <coughs> it contained are uh, computed. So tick chromatograms have that function here. Let's ask that the statistics be computed, for example. And you see these here. You see that that is happening and then the statistics are provided in the um, in the output uh, widget. Let's click that again. Control double click. Uh, what do we have? We have the JS integrate to tick intensity, for example. That is interesting. Let's say we wanted to integrate from 0, 02 to 0, 05. Tick uh tick uh o o two o four equals and say that it is a variable and if i say now i can recall uh that line remove all this and ask its value it would be that value so it's really javascript but you have all the power of the Qt libraries um, what you could do for example is extract a trace uh, for example any of these plots be them um, drift time plot mz plot uh, retention time plot all these plots may be converted to a trace. For example, let's say var uh, tick chrome plot uh, tick chromatogram plot uh, plot one uh, or trace one for this one equals that trace. And now that is a trace object and we can use its, um, its function here, for example, as text and we get that trace. So these are the points in there. And that is also true for a mass spec plot widget, for example. We could uh, say as a trace, and then, yes, it returns an object, but we didn't capture its identity. var ms trace one or at zero, because that is the, 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 the unique uh, mass spec plot uh, widget trace. And now uh, let's say mst zero, mst zero as text. That's a much longer trace. 
it takes a little while but look there are lots of points this is a pretty powerful uh, javascript environment i could also say var ms0 equals mass spec plot widget dot mass spectrum in that case i have a true mass spectrum object i could plot for example i could ask for the length property and i know now that there are uh, 38 660x so how to how can we discover what we can do with uh, all these objects remember there is this java script reference so we may go to the mass spectrum uh, chapter and look at all the functions that we can have and remember all the documentation of the various uh, functions of the uh, class objects are provided with examples so this is how i would show the features of these objects i would like to show that it is possible to take control of uh, widgets for example if we look at this uh, zik extraction window okay let's show it zik extraction window and if we double click on this we see that we can set some values here for example set mz takes a double value here for so we could say zik extraction window set mz i would like to extract uh, let's see for example from 2204 to 2206 set mz204 right and you see that it appears and then we want to set the tolerance type Uh, set tolerance type and we can set to MZ it's there and then set the tolerance to two MZ units or let's say four so we have two on the left and two on the right and you see that it displays here and then we know we have an apply function so let's call that apply function and the corresponding plot widget has been produced how do i capture the identity of this plot widget very easy i know that each time a plot widget is created it has an alias that is last last tick cron plot widget last mass spec plot widget last drift spectrum plot widget so all i have to do i know that i generate a tick cron plot widget a tick chromatogram plot widget so i say var extracted tick uh, a zik uh, plot widget one equals last tick chrome plot widget now i know this variable is uh, correct i can check that by say, saying he hide let's say hide and i can confirm it's that one let's see if this plot widget disappears it does show it's there again so i know i have uh, produced that uh, zik uh, chromatogram so this is for for the zik extraction parameters so this is the way uh, the the objects that are produced during the operation of the program are generated in the next uh, tutorial i'll describe the way objects can be created using var and new Thank you.